Hello YouTube, this is the More Man 82 here. Well, it's the next day. Uh, yesterday I could not get the, the decking off of the trailer. Uh, I hadn't brought my reciprocating saw with me. Uh, I noticed when I tried to unscrew the screws, I mean, they were never going to come out of the, of the, of the frame. They were self-tapping metal screws I should have used, maybe galvanized. Uh, note to self, if you're doing this again, use galvanized or stainless steel or something, something that doesn't rust to the framing. Anyway, so uh, there's the pile of decking right now. It took me two hours to cut it up in, in sections and pull all that off. Uh, yeah, it was a heck of a job. So what I did is I um, I pulled the decking off and I had the ground to, I had to cut the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, cut the bolts flush, cut the screws flush. I grinded down the frame, took some of the metal off the frame. Um, this is this is the frame layout right now of my new frame. Uh, two ten foot pieces, one there, one there. A uh, piece along the back, four in the middle, and one there. Now the four in the middle, if you can imagine this now, is this set is going here. So the center of the wheel is going to be there, and for the other set center of the wheel is going to be here because with the torsion bars the arm comes back a little bit so the wheel is not exactly centered there it's actually it's going to be centered at the last one here so that makes this this and this the space between is three feet and then the space between this piece and trailer there is 43 inches and then between there and there is another 43 inches so this makes the wheels um, in the center um, so with the wheels, they're 18 inches, so uh, that's 32 inches, so this is 37, it gives you, um, um, you know, a few inches in the middle because you're, you have to compensate for your tires and there so they won't rub, and, uh, you know, I'm going to put some, some double fenders, so you'll have to make a, bra have to make a bracket in the center to actually support the fenders, so, you know, you have to leave a little bit of room in between the tires to to do that so they won't rub. So the frame is going to be pretty solid. All this frame is going to be welded and put underneath. Underneath this frame is going to be welded directly to the side rails and everything. Um, so this piece this piece are coming out. This piece is coming out here. It's pretty rusted. And uh, it's also welded to the pole there. And I want to take that off and put pe that piece right, right there, the bigger, the bigger square tubing, just so to make it a little bit uh, more sturdy. Uh, so the next step for me, which will probably be next week, would be to buy some primer paints, so the primer like rust coat or rust oleum that can just brush on. And I'm going to do is I'm going to put that mesh on that side, weld all that in place, prime the frame, the top side of the frame, these pieces here, and uh, the rails and around the outside of the rails here, and the front, prime all that, prime the pole, and then um, have Mike help me, I'm going to push it in the corner, flip it upside down, put it on some of those dock posts, level it, and then I'll proceed to take unbolt the torsion systems that I have right now. And I still have to order another set of these. I'm waiting until they come on sale because they're pretty pricey. They're about $200 a piece. So when they come on sale, they're usually about $100 a piece. So, And I have to get another set of these tires. Uh, these torsion bars will have to uh, have to be uh, repainted because they're all rusted. Once I flip it, I have to prep the underside of the rail. And uh, for welding, I will I probably, I'll just go bring it down to bare metal so I can do some uh, a good weld on that cut those, I don't know if you can see those, there's like little eyelets underneath there to pass the wiring and I'll cut all those off, I'll, I'll re-weld some of those little grommets there to after, I haven't put all new wiring in this anyway. Once it's flipped over and I make all my measurements and all my cuts, uh, I'll put the frame on the ground and weld it there, weld the whole thing there. And here, uh, which I forgot to mention, I'm going to cut the frame off right here and this piece it won't be long enough because I measured I want to put 
a piece of metal from here to there and weld that in place just to support the corner. I don't want to make a square frame. I just want to have a diagonal piece here. But the piece that I'm going to, if I cut it off here, this piece is not long enough. And I, I need like three feet. So I'm on each, three feet each side. I'm going to have to get some more metal for that. I thought I could uh, just use that piece, but simply just it won't be, won't be long enough. Uh, so yeah, so once it's flipped upside down and I have everything leveled, and once uh, everything I have to do with everything on this side, the mesh and the priming, uh, I'll put the frame on the ground, weld the frame up to here pretty much, and put it down, cut the piece, diagonal pieces, and then uh, weld the frame to my existing trailer, the new frame to my existing trailer, and then could proceed to do these parts here after the main frame is set. Once that's done, I'm going to probably uh, paint the underside, prime it and paint it. Um, with the same same blue paint and um, mount the wheels and once that's done flip it back on its wheel. Once all the work for underneath is done, then flip it and put some more grommets for the wiring and so forth. I'm sure there will be all kinds of other stuff pop up. Once that's done um, I'll put it back on its wheels and I'll um, probably work on the fenders make the bracket, center bracket, side brackets, maybe top bracket for the fender. I want to put in the middle of the fenders, because I keep, once I have my sides on here for scrap metal, I keep stepping on the fenders and they bend them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, this here, aluminum step, cut it in two, make a bracket, bolt that on there, and that'll be right in the middle of my fenders, and it'll be able to support my weights. So I can just get on not top of that, and then if I want to push something, if I throw something over and it's not quite settled in the bottom of the trailer I can reach in there and without bending the bending the uh, fenders up, up. and you know the, once that's all done coat of paint on everything put some stickers put new wiring um, before I paint the whole thing I'm going to do the gates uh, the gates um, along the back here there's going to be a bar this bar and I have some channel uh, my degree metal there. I'm gonna make that custom gate I was talking about that flip, that's split in two and flips and flips and folds inside of here, and actually can fold out like this as a tailgate if I just want something to have a small load, or it could be just used as a regular tailgate. But that'll take some finicking because I have to. I design my own hinge for here, so I'm gonna have to. You know, I think it's gonna work, but I have to actually make it first. Anyway. So, uh, comment, like, and subscribe if you like this video, and I will try to get another video up on Monday, um, hopefully if the weather holds, I will be, um, coming back here and probably try to flip it and put it in the back and clean this mess up, I gotta get this out of here, and see if I can, I can do that. Anyway, till next time.